welcome to a brand new video in this video we are going to be using ESP32 and our 3-in-1 ESP and we are going to be controlling our ESP32 using Bluetooth um, we are going to create an application using app inventor and we are going to be remotely giving the instructions to ESP32 to, to light on and light off the LED here so let's get started. You can go to App Inventor, MIT App Inventor here. The first link is the MIT App Inventor. You can go create app. If you have an account, you are going to create it right away. If not, you are going to have to register. I am already registered, so so I created a project. I named it YouTube. This is a blank project right now. You can come here on right and disable the status bar and title visible that is better now we are going to have to create our ui i'm going to go ahead and pick our first component which is a layout and horizontal arrangements layout in fact drag it and drop it here on the right you can see the properties of the layout the height is okay automatic is fine by us i'm going to change the width to fill parent now I'm going to drag in a list picker. This is going to be the list picker to see our devices. So I'm going to name it find devices. This is going to list all the available Bluetooth devices near us. And then I'm going to put a label here. A label is basically a text. The text is going to display the situation of our connection, either connected or failed or not connected. I'm going to put two switches here. One is going to be to turn on and off the LED. So I'm going to name it LED situation. The other one is not going to be used in this video, but maybe you want to uh, drive on and off and relay. So I'm going to name it relay situation. You can implement anything here, but for the sake of simplicity in this video, I'm going to just uh, use the LED one. And now I'm going to have to drag in a Bluetooth connector. You can see Bluetooth client. This is the client that's going to allow us to um, connect to devices. And now we can start programming our Android application. We have our UI ready. Okay, you can see the blocks here. When the list picker is before picking, this means that when the application loads, you're going to have to set the elements of list picker to available addresses. So what this means is that before clicking this button here, it is going to fetch all the addresses, Bluetooth addresses near us, so that we can display them. And after the list picker is picked, this means that the button is clicked, you have to, then we are going to connect to that device with our Bluetooth client. We are going to connect to that specific address, and then we are going to set our label and the text that we have added to connect it and if the connection fails we're going to set it to failed and on the bottom you can see that when the first switch is changed and if it is on we are going to send the value 1 to, to via bluetooth to our ESP32 and otherwise if it is off the switch is off we are going to send the value 2 to our ESP32 device and we are going to handle them in our code now. Now if you want to download this application to your phone, you can go ahead and go to build and Android APK and download it. You can click on it two times and then install it with no problem. You can either use the QR code or just download it right away. When it's downloaded, your, your phone might give you a warning about it is being not an application downloader from google play so you will have to say uh, trust anyways and also you might have to give the permission to the application to use bluetooth or it might be called find nearby devices you have to give the permission otherwise the application will not be able to use your phone's bluetooth and now let's examine the code that we wrote here we use bluetooth serial it is a part of the esp32 standard library and if the Bluetooth is not configured properly, we throw an error here. Bluetooth is not enabled. You have to use your mini config to enable it. 
we call the body to serial library we create an object called serial bt on our pc bt led pin is 14 we have previous malice here we have interval we are going to blink every once in uh, one second that's why there is 1000 milliseconds here and we have last state we have is connected set to false uh, we create by setting our led pin as output start our serial start our bluetooth serial and then we print to our serials ready the void flash led function is a function that uh, it just takes a, a time and then delay time value this means that you have to light on and off you have to blink the led x times uh, with a delay of a certain time uh, the implementation is quite straightforward it just blinks the led x times with a delay of y on our loop we have our current mill set to milles we have serial bt connected and if it uh, is connected it is not true this means that the connection is being established for the first time or in other words your phone is first connected to the bluetooth device it is going to use the flash led function three times when a connection happens the led will blink really fast with 100 milliseconds delay three times this and then it's going to be off until there is an instruction sent from your application and this is also going to show you that the connection is established properly if not it's just going to blink every once in a while this is going to say that i'm looking for devices to connect to me uh, this will be the standby mode and the other one uh, will only uh, run when there is a connection from your phone to the esp32 and here is where the magic happens if the serial bt is available and we receive a message we use serial bt.read function to receive a message into our char on our application we set that uh, we would send the value 1 if the switch is on and uh, 2 if the switch is off when the switch is on we have to light our led and otherwise we have to light off our led and this is pretty much our code so let's uh, upload it to our card and see the results okay we have our pcb here you can see that our led is blinking on and off it is on standby mode it is looking for a device to connect to it we have implemented this on our code here i have my application downloaded to on my phone if i click find devices this is going to show the devices list and I will have to fix fixage. We named our device as fixage, so we're gonna pick it. You can see that the LED blinked three times really fast because our phone connected to our ESP32. For the first time, it blinks three times. And now we can see that our label here is it says connected. This also double proves that the connection is successful. Now, if I switch the if I turn the switch on, you can see that the LED also lights now. If I switch it off, the LED switches off again. On and off. On and off. It works wonderfully. Thanks for watching us. Thanks for being with us here in this video today. If you enjoyed the video, please consider going to our international website storefixage.com. Here you can see the PCB we used on our video. It supports Wi-Fi, RS-232, E70, LoRa modules, LoRa, Buzzer, Lipo, Ethernet, and many more. Uh, we ship internationally to every country in the world. Uh, we have a sale going on right now. We can come here, go to PCB, 3 in one ESP32. This is for a limited time only, guys. We use DHL. We do our packing and shipping in the most quality way. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider helping to us by buying our products. We have our whole GitHub repository. We have our Discord question and answer um, server. We have our tutorials, downloads, our strategy and contact us page. Uh, we, can al we always support our customers. We listen to their needs. We always improve ourselves and we also improve your project. So... Thank you for watching me today and when I say bye bye.